Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of Restaurant POS. So, this project contains two modules. One is admin module and another is normally a employee module. So, let's explore one by one. So, first I'm going to log in as an admin. So, my username is btechdace and the password is pass. If I add some wrong password like this, and if I click on login and here you can see this uh, error message pop up which is saying bad credentials. So this type of validation is done over here. Next thing, we can also close this application by just simply clicking on this close. So let me close this and let me start this once again. Now here you can see this, now we can close the application and as well as we can start it. So let me just log in with a valid username and password. So username is btechdays and the password is passed. When I click on login, it will open an admin dashboard. Here you can see this, we have all the products which are added over there and we have a filter to search it, right? So if I type P and it will show all this product name, which is starting with a P, like paneer pizza, pasta pizza. If I type ABC or something like this with the A, we have two products that is aviation and ABC. So we can filter the product like that. Next thing what we have is we can click on this and we can update the product price. So like this one, if I click on this and here we can see this, you cannot update the name, category and uh, but we can update the price, right? So if I'm going to change this one to six and click on update and here you can see this product updated. Click on OK and here you can see this. Now the price is 55.6. We can add a new product from here. Like I want to add a new product uh, that is French chili fries something like this it will be in the correct category you can add whatever category you want so i'm going to name this one my special and the price for this one will be 153 and click on save and here you can see this product added click on ok and now if i try to search this one here you can see this french fries chilies and if I try to add it again, here you can see this now this add product is selected and if I click on this, the added data is automatically populated into these three fields. And if I try to add the same product again, here you can see the product with this name already exists. It means that you cannot add the duplicate product into this one. So click on OK. And if I want to change the price, so what we have to do is we have to select this update product, click on this one and you can change like this one. Click on update and click on OK and here you can see this. Now the price for this one is changed 186. If I want to change this one to 186.5 and click on update and here you can see this. Now the price is also updated. So in this way you can actually add a new product and update the product price as an admin. So let me just click on this one. This is a logout button and again this is a application close button. So I'm going to log out. And we move to the login page and here we have directly one option to open POS. So why I have added this open POS because suppose you are an admin or uh, you are the owner of the uh, restaurant, then you are the one who is responsible to update the product, update the product price and update, add a new product. But your employee has a complete authority to sell that product, right? So for that, we have added this open POS without any validation. So if I click on this one, this will open a restaurant POS sale system like this one. And here we have these options like pizza, soft drinks, quick peas, and our special section. So by default, pizza is selected whenever we open this pizza item is selected and here you can see this uh, all the pizza available like paneer pizza onion pizza tomato pizza and other stuff like this so if i directly try to add this one and here you can see this select item before adding so what is this button suppose i want to add this one so if i click on if you click on this and try to add it again and again it will say select item before adding because you haven't added the quantity over here so if I try to write something, another number like X, Y, Z, I can't be able to type it. So we have to add a one like this one. If I want to add some another, okay. If we want to add onion tomato like this one. So what we have to do is we have to click on this like this. And if I click on this add button, so it will add paneer pizza. And you can see there's the price that is 55.6 and this onion tomato is 87. So uh, for the unit price, so this product, suppose paneer price, 
Paneer pizza price is 56.1. So we have added quantity one. So that's why it's 55.6. So I'm going to remove this all. And this time I'm going to add two over here. And again, I'm going to add two over here. And if I click on add and here you can see this 55.6 into two is 111.2. And for the onion tomato, again, the price has changed according to that. So whenever we add the quantity, the price is being multiplied and being added accordingly. So if I click on remove all, you can see this, all the checkbox are unchecked and this quantity is also reset. So if you can see this, yes. And here you can see this, this one is cleared and everything is unchecked. So next thing what we have is, let me sort of add some stuff from here. So I'm going to add this two and this one too. And again, I'm going to go to the soft drinks and here we have the zombie drink, margarita, mazito, and many more. So if I click on this one and I'm going to add four quantity for this and I'm going to add this one. So not to worry about anything, I'm going to provide all the images and icon I'm using in this project from in the next video. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see how this functionally work. Okay, so you can see this, we have uh, espresso. So you can add any number of quantity for these. Next thing we have quick biz. So if I click on this, we have two items for now. You can add multiple as per your choice. So I'm going to add five burgers over here. And next thing we have our special. So in our special, whatever you add new items, the manually which items you have add you all the items will be visible over here so previously i have added abc but right now i have shown you that i have added french chili fry so if i click on this and here you can add the quantity so if i directly click on this add to cart here you can see this item not selected or in invalid quantity so what i have to do is i have to add this like this one so add to cart and here you can see this item added to cart so you must refer to that why it's not visible where these item are being added so in the backend, in one stuff in the directory, it's going added, right? So when we, this is a final add to cart option. So whenever we click on this, all the items from there will be added to this data grid view. I will show you in a while. So here we have another option to search. So again, we can search French fries, ABC, like this, whatever the product you've had, suppose you have added hundred of products, so you can search it over here. And finally, we have one option that is add. So before I add all the items to the cart, let me just explain why I've added this hour special. So because it gives you a right, you, it gives you a power to actually add the manual products. You are not going to be restricted with these all items, right? Because in when you grow, you add multiple items, multiple stuff in your restaurant, right? So that's why we have added this hour special stuff. So finally, I'm going to just click on this ad and this will add all the product which I have selected so far. That is paneer pizza, tomato pizza, uh, dry martini, espresso martini, burger, french fries and all of this stuff, right? So, and here you can see this as this is a total price as is 2235.25. All the item, if you calculate it, the final price will be this one. Okay, so if I click on this checkout, it will actually generate a PDF which you can print or you can save both you can do at the same time so if I click on this one here you can see this it's asking us to print so I'm going to print this I'm going to save this over here so test underscore one and just save it and it will save this PDF into that specific folder so I have just opened it and let me just refresh and here you can see that this is a test underscore one so these are all the icons which i'm going to provide you okay so let me just open this pdf so if i open it and here you can see this this is generated on 8 1 2023 and this is pos build and this items which i have added like paneer pizza and this is a french price pizza and in the below you will find this total amount that is 2235 and 25 so if i move back over here and you can see this now everything is unchecked and everything is removed and if i try to again add to cart and you can see this select items before adding because everything is removed so this is how the complete functionality of restaurant pos works so you can uh, from the next video you can follow us so that we can develop it in parallel and you will have a great learning so that's it subscribe like and share with your friends thanks for watching